Alright, time for the next segment of our New Year's special. And we're going to play some Family Feud on the Xbox One. Now, if you remember, we did the Switch version of this game earlier in the special, but we were not able to make it to Fast Money, unfortunately. But, uh... Let's see how our luck goes with uh, this version here. I do want to try to get at least a win to start off on this game to start off the 2022 year. Understand that uh, my friend Para Warner Viacom on the uh, House of Games actually uh, just got an Xbox One as well as this particular game for Christmas. So very nicely done there. I'm your host, Lucky McCoy. Let's meet the families who are taking on the feud. In a team of one, all set with some smooth grooves, it's the leads. Our two teams must guess the most popular answers to our survey questions. Whichever team does the best will compete in Fast Money, where they can win our grand prize of $20,000. It's feuding time. Let's do this. All right, let's uh, let's get the feud on. Here we let's go. Let's get things rolling. It's time for the face-off. Let's get someone from each family down in front. We've got a full board of eight answers this time. Eight answers for the first one. Okay. Survey question. If you're first to find the number one answer, you get to decide if your family will play or pass the round. We conducted a survey of 100 people for this question. What is a word that dogs understand? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nice buzzer, Tex. Sit. That's what you're going with? Is it there? I was going to say speak, Sit. but it wasn't showing up. Sit. Number one answer. Number one. So what do you say? Pass or play? All right, I'll play. I hope you've got some more answers for us. We're playing. Got another answer? Up. Okay, then. Is it up there? Show me. Nope. That's not up there. So here's your first strike. Oops. Are you ready? I need an answer from you. Uh, Stay. Good. Yep. Time to find out if it's up there. Stay. All right, that's up there. Yes. What is a word that dogs understand? Uh, no. Interesting answer. Survey said no. Ouch, that's your second strike. Let's try down. Do you have an answer for us? Uh. No.
Fetch. Oh, okay. I want to see that answer. Fetch. That's up there. This game is not over yet. Woo. Dig deep and think of an answer. Come. Is it on the board? Come! That's number two! It's still in the game! Oh, good. What is a word that dogs understand? <laughs> Me, they understand yes? Yes! Did any of our 100 people say it? Yes! Nope. Ooh, that's your All right, 72 point. points up there, not bad. The other family gets a chance to steal. If this family finds just one answer, they'll steal the round. If it's up there, you steal the points. If not, they go to the other family. Run. Here we go then. Let's see if you're right. Run. No. <clears throat> didn't find what we wanted. <clears throat> this round goes. Oh, to walk would have been a good one, and I completely overlooked that. Missed answers. And it's probably going to be on the board too, under these four remaining answers. Under one of these four remaining answers. Let's see. Treat. Okay, that was number eight. Number five. Their name. Their name. Number four. Four, five, four. Food. Food. Number three, please. Walk. Yep, there it is. It was number three. Here's what the scores look like after that round. That's just one round down. We've got so much fun left to have here. Hello, Kara. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Family feud on Xbox. Get ready to go full. Yep, and I believe you got that for Christmas. All right, people, get up here and do your family's proud. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, someone got it. The top five no, I've had my Xbox for for a while. Fingers on buzzers. Oh. Here we go. We took oh, yeah. a survey of 100 people, asking them. Oh hi. The likely occupation of someone who's never got a traffic ticket. Well, You're in first. I will give myself a no, Ozzy. I have appeared in Marshmallow's field. Understood. <laughs> Let's take a look. Police Thanks, officer. Buddy. Number one. He found the most popular answer. Now here's the million dollar question, play or pass? I think you've got this one, let's play. You can do it, what do you think? Alright, like the occupation of someone who's never gotten a traffic ticket. Uh, a firefighter I guess? Got it. What did our survey say? Firefighter. Number four. That's a good one. Nice work. Absolutely. Oh, uh, <laughs> guess what? We need an answer. Don't you worry, I'll, I'll say it sooner or later. Uh, a politician? Okay, sure. Did anyone in the survey say this? Politician. Nope. You hear that noise? That's a strike. Aww. Name a likely occupation of someone who's never got a traffic ticket. Yeah. Um, try the paramedic. Okie dokie. Is that one of the ones we've got left? 
paramedic. That's up there, number two. Good answer. Good answer. Time to search your mind for an answer. Uh-huh. Here comes the judge. I see where you're going with this. Show me the answer. Judge. Number three. You're doing great. Uh -huh. All right, now I just need one more. There's only one answer left. Right. Maybe. Uh, a pop star? I don't know. That's what you think, huh? Is that the last answer on the board? Nope. Strike two. Other family? Uh, I'd be getting ready if I were you. Not there. I gotta get spot. Name a likely occupation of someone who's never got a traffic ticket. Uh, um, oh, this, this last one's actually tough here. A likely occupation of someone who's never gotten a traffic ticket. Someone who's never gotten a traffic ticket, huh? Yeah. So, and only one answer left. It's already up there. Oh. Well, right up there. I gotta pay attention here. Uh, it's alright. Um. Uh, no. Three strikes. It's yeah. time for the other team to have a crack at this. Alright. If you want to steal this round, you need to find me a missing answer. You could steal these points and give yourselves a great chance. Right, they're going with nurse. That's your answer. Let's check the board and see if it made it. Nurse. No. That's not it. Hundred and sixty points to nothing. We've got one answer left to reveal. Number five. Funeral, Funeral director. Let's take a look at the current scores. Mm. I don't know if I would have come, come up with that. that. Well, anyways, one hundred and sixty points to nothing. Double point round. So I can win it with this question potentially. Because it's time for the face off. One person for each team. Come down and join me here at the front. This time we've got top six answers. Ooh, things are heating up. Points are doubled now. In our survey, we asked 100 people, name something you hate, but you're stuck with it. Ooh, that was fast. Hope you've got a good answer. Well, some people hate their car. Right. It's worth a shot. Let's see what the hate but says. stuck with it. Car. Car is not there. Zilch. Oh. Let's see if we can get something on the board. I wouldn't hate my car. Name something you hate, but you're stuck with it. Job. Oh, that's the other one I was thinking of. Did our survey agree? I think that's going to be up there, though. Job. Yeah, it's number two. Found an answer. 
Now, are they going to play or are they going to pass? Force them to play. Woohoo! I hope you can bounce back after that last round. Here we go. All right, looks like they're playing. So we, so we gotta try and think of a steal. All right, they're going with spouse. Survey says spouse. That's number four. Bingo. You look like someone who's got a good guess for us. Uh huh. Age. Are you sure about that? Let's run with it. Age. Not there. That's gonna put a dent on your game. Name something you hate, but you're stuck with it. Friends. Alrighty then. The survey says. Friends. Not there. That's another strike. Give me an answer. Nationality. All right. Do we have a right answer? Nationality. No, not there. That's three. Well, got a shot. well, there's only 38 points, so we're going to have to go to a fourth round. Yeah. It takes just one answer to steal. Yeah. Well, let's see if I can at least get the steal. Dig deep. Give me a correct answer, and you snatch these points from the other team. Hmm, maybe body. Okay. Is it up there? Body. That was number one. So we got the steal. You nailed down this round. Let's tidy up All right. and show those missing answers. Number six. Name. Time for five. Family. The number three answer. Death. It's time. All right, 198 to nothing. Next round is triple points. We're three rounds down and one score still says zero. But there's always a chance for a big change. Yeah, this is yeah, this will most likely be for the win, but it all depends what happens with the other family. Right. It's time for the face-off. I'm gonna need one person from both families to join me up here. <laughs> The top four answers, the top four answers on the board. Point values are tripled now, so it's still anybody's game. We asked a hundred people the following. Name something you might place both your hands on at the same time. Think you got something? Something you might place both your hands on at the same time. A table. Feeling lucky? Do we have it? Table. All right, well, it's up there at desk. Three answers beat it, though. Your guess, buddy? Name something you might place both your hands on at the same time. Ball. Said with confidence. Our survey says... Ball. That's number three. Still not tough, but that's a better answer. All right. Play There's only two answers left. Now are they going to play or are they going to pass? Let's see. The other team chickened out. Oh, they're passing. All right. Now there's only two answers left to find. Oh, okay. I think I've got one. The steering wheel for a car. We have an answer. The steering wheel. Steering wheel. Number one. That's time. 
All right, now we just need number two. You've done so well. Only one answer left. But can you find it? Uh, let's see. Um, a baby. Good. Okay. Let's see if it's up there. Baby. No. You failed to find an answer, which means you get your first strike of the round. Well, uh, let's see. There's only one answer remaining. Let's try... Keyboard. That's good. Is this the last answer we're looking for? Keyboard. Nope. Oh, it's another strike. All right. Name something you might place. How about the newspaper? No, not there. Uh, maybe just paper? No. Okay. Uh, nothing's working. Um... No. That's three strikes and you're out. The other family has a chance. Uh, all right, if they steal, we go to sudden death. If not, we win the game. Okay, if the answer is there, you'll steal the points. If not, they go to the other side of the stage. Bicycle. Sure thing. Bye. Show me that answer. Bicycle. Not there! No! Our winning family! There was one answer that left us stumped. What was the, the last answer we did not know was... Myself! Let's see who won. Uh, okay then. And that's it! Well, 354 to nothing, we're going on to fast money. You're the winner. You get to play fast money. Well, it's time to say goodbye to the lovely Lee family. Are you ready to play fast money? Since you're the only one here, you'll be facing the questions twice. Hey. I'm going to ask you five survey questions in a limited time. Then I'll ask you the same questions again. If you can score two hundred right. points, 200 points or more, we get twenty thousand dollars. Your time starts now. Name something a nurse might do to make a patient feel good. Uh, give medicine. Name a sound a farm animal makes. Oink. Name a country that likes U.S. tourists' dollars, but not U.S. tourists. Oh, that's a bit of a tough one. Um... Uh... France, maybe? Name a word that can follow walking. Walking... Uh... Walking alone? I don't know. No, okay. Walking away. Pass. Name a place where everyone has a nightmare about being naked. <laughs> Nelza's closet. Can follow 
walking? Uh, let's see. Walking. Oh. No, I can't think of one for that. That's time. All right. Well, still a second go around. All right. Let's see how you do the second time around. Now it gets a bit tricky. You've got to do it all again with brand new answers. Let's start the clock. Name something a nurse might do to make a patient feel good. Give food. Name a sound a farm animal makes. Uh, let's see. Cock-a-doodle-doo. That likes U.S. tourist dollars, but not U.S. tourists. <laughs> Uh, Germany? Name a word that can follow walking. Walking tall. Name a place where everyone has a nightmare about being naked. Uh, bedroom. Alright, that's all five of them. Okay, let's see how we did. That's all she wrote. Okay, let's find out how you did. First up, we wanted you to tell us, name something a nurse might do to make a patient feel good. And your answers? I think you could be pleased with those answers. Well, I had the number one answer on that one at least with giving meds. Name a sound. Yeah. A We're 48 points. points. Let's remind everyone what you said. Oink and cockadoodle do. Oh! And a not so good answer. Moo. Moo is number one. Okay. In the top points. All right. For the third question, we asked. Name a country that likes U.S. tourist dollars, but not U.S. tourists. This is how you answer. Those answers look good, don't they? Nice. Work. Okay, France was number one on that one. For the next survey question, we asked, name a word that can follow walking. So you said, we had a pass on this one. Walking tall, that was number 20, those were 27. Dead. Walking Dead, okay. The like the TV series, okay. The last question. All right, we need 55 points. Place where everyone has a nightmare about being naked. Here are your answers. And our final survey said. Ah. And they don't say what the number one was on the last one unless you actually give it. But don't worry, it'll be waiting for you next time. You won't be taking home the $20,000, but no one goes home empty-handed. We're going to take right. this from Fast Money. $5 a point to love, 725 Okay, that's not too bad, I guess. I want to thank both our families for coming on Family View. So I got $725, and I think Nels might have a bone to pick with me after he sees the uh, uh, answer. We'll see you for the next segment if I live.